good morning. We are out on the street. <clears throat> and we are gonna get oh, stuff. Sure I don't know what we're gonna get, but... Alright, we're back at the hotel. And I don't know what we're doing again. We're, we're back outside. We're gonna go somewhere. To a museum. Science. Science. They make these benches so narrow so people don't sleep on them. All right, we are at a cheese place and we are gonna try out a cheese board. We got half a cheese board. We're gonna try out their cheese, Cesaria. This is our cheese, a bunch of stuff. This one has honey on top. Truffle honey. Oh, truffle honey. The Escalator of Doom. Pretty crazy, it's an escalator. And it looks like a giant red meteorite into the entrance of doom. It's pretty trippy when you zoom in there. Pretty dope. It's lit up in here. We're in this earthquake simulator and it's pretty cool. When you're drinking mineral, mineral rum, water, it's actually rocks. Giant fish looks like a giant dried banana. Look at this giant crocodile. Man. Man, check out this. This thing's so cool. Look at that. It's, a, it's called a stand. Oh, check out this pyrite. It's a bunch of cubes. This thing's huge. Like Donald Trump says, it's gonna be huge. Um, so, so look what I found. Look what I found. What is this? What is this? <laughs> we stopped at the cafe to get some drinks. We have, uh, I got a sparkling water and an agua fresca. Dad got a latte. When you stub your toe. This giant blue whale. It's all the way to that, but it curves around too. It's ginormous. When you're too scared to get a dentist appointment, it's a yell. Before Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving. Don't look down. Oh, let's look down. Oh, haha, I look down. <laughs> I'm such a savage man. Look, this seed looks like a butt. Photography or recording. Oh, I'm retort. Oh, yeah, man. These things look like rejected birds. Since they have, like, these little fed some feathers, but they can't even fly. Alright, we're gonna get ice cream. I'm gonna get an ice cream with flake. Sounds pretty good. Flake is like a chocolate in Europe. So I never tried it, and I want to try it. Check out this. Flake looks like a vanilla stick. Try it. Mm, pretty good. What are those? That's and look, it's for a really fat guy with skinny arms. Pretty nice. No man, peace out, bro. Peace out. Um, sir, I have one idea I have to say. Um, sir, professor. Yes, madam. Someone put a chestnut on my seat. In the hood. Yo, man, check out this head that I found. Sounds pretty cool. You stole my kill. Oh, 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 oh. I have a five kill streak on CSGO. Oh, they keep on sniping me. He's secretly a giraffe and he doesn't know it. Check out his neck. Wow. Hey, well, how, how are you doing? Oh, no, and I'm just being tied up to a tree pole. I'm too tired. I, I have to sleep, man. Just just don't wake me up. I'm standing up and sleeping. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus. How do you do that? I don't know. Hello, Governor. Far out, bro. Michael Jackson. Dangling his baby. What the heck? Jock straps. Alright, we're out to go eating, so we're at this FFEO. 
Look at this drink. Wonderful. It's pretty good. Yeah, good, good. Alright, yes. we got our fish and chips. Then our lamb. Our sauces and stuff. Sounds great. This is gonna be the best fish and chips in all of London. This is dessert. I forgot what it's called, but it looks pretty good. You should call it Sticky Mess. Yeah, Sticky Mess. It's meringue, strawberries, and ice cream mixed together into one glob. Mmm. Good. Real good. All right, we're renting city bikes to get somewhere to this giant department store. So Dad's trying to pull out his bike now. All right, we're back at the hotel, and now we're leaving it. We're gonna go to a ginormous department store. Department store. All right, we're at a fancy restaurant, and it's, it's been a long day, and so they just gave me this thing. It's called steak tartare. It's raw. Okay, I guess I'll try it. I got it all. Stuff on it. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh. You are brave, little man. Yeah, we rode we rode past that thing. Um, I don't know from about let's say seven or eight kilometers from the London Bridge, the Tower Bridge. There are lots of flavors to it. Yeah, but this cheese is like fantastic. Well, he has a race. Almost has a dry taste. So I gotta make sure he's like. Huh? What is it? <laughs> so we we fly back on Saturday. Pickled and truffle. And Sunday morning is gonna. Oh. <laughs> Pickled <laughs> truffle. What do you think? It's very interesting. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the this thing is super. We haven't done that much. This thing is super interesting. This is pickled. Um, truffle. 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 It's it's raw beef. Wonderful. It's very interesting. I don't know if we'll get sick tomorrow, tomorrow but the eye and then the truffle. It's worth a shot. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next meal. Yeah, you stuff a whole bunch of like saltines in your mouth. Check out this. Oh, yeah. oh man, I love these mushrooms, morels. They taste great. They taste like sausages. But it looks like a bunch of corn. A bunch of, uh. Yeah, it looks like corn. It looks like a. The corn, right? Yeah, I don't want to spoil anyone's appetite. But so it looks like. <laughs> like something. That doesn't belong on the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's creamy. Mm -hmm. He really understands the camera a lot better than I Oh, this is a saffron risotto with morels and asparagus. So, alright, I'm gonna put on this. I wish they gave me more morels. I could ask for more. You can have my morel if you want. These are great. It's a big bite. Big boy bite. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't eat the morel with this. The morel because you don't eat separately? Yeah, because you don't taste the morel. The morel has a light taste. Yeah. You only have the uh, the texture of it. Ah, I see. You can definitely taste the asparagus and it overpowers everything. This is what it looks like. These are mashed potatoes. These are vegetables. Alright, I'm gonna try this thing out. First smells a little bit fishy, but it's not too fishy. Is there bones in here? Let's find out. I think they deboned it. Very cleanly. Yeah, there's no bone in it. That's exactly. She likes fish though. It. <laughs> it's fishy. Yeah. Hmm. Is it light? Some of the parts are harder than the other. Are harder than the so other. Texture. Mhm. Mm Muscle texture. You can't necessarily taste. Say texture. Yeah. Is it lighter? Some of the parts are like other fish? harder. Um. It's a bit heavier. Oh, it's a bit but, heavier in flavor. But it's 
not too heavy. It's still pretty light. We're gonna try out this thingy bob. It's just a bunch of vegetables and tomato sauce. I don't know what's so special about it, but it's fancy. Ah, it stabs my throat. Some of the parts are hard on it. So, so it's a harder vegetable. A little bit hard. And then so when you eat it, if you don't chew it correctly, then I'll stab you like a million spears. All right, these mashed potatoes, they're perfectly made. They look like they they came out of um like a frosting thing. A frosting thing. Like a pastry cup. All right. All right. So taking that little bite. Oh, these are firm. Yeah, this is pretty like compressed. It's firm. Yeah, yeah, they're just regular mashed potatoes. Nothing. Are they like garlicky or creamy? No, just like normal. They're just a little bit creamy. Yeah. It's like they have butter in it, but they're they're just your generic mashed potatoes. So I'm not a big fan of this fish because this fish also has like butter on it, and then the fish is fatty, so it's fatty butter. Mm. Our next meal, dessert. dessert. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna try out this. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is the dessert. So I don't know what this is. Um, oh, it's cold, so it is ice cream. It's strawberry. Um, with the ice cream, it overloads it and makes it too sweet. So you should. So I think you should eat all of it at a time, one at a time. Okay. The ice cream melts soon, so just eat the ice cream first. But I think it might be this one, the sorbet. That the sorbet? It Let me try it. Mm. Or it's not as sweet. I don't know. It might be the white one. Yes, yeah, the white one. So I what's think this, the white one? I think this is lime. Oh, like a lime sorbet? Yeah. So it's pretty sweet. Okay. And they add in fruits. And this is jello. The jello is like. Like a jelly? Yeah, but it, it has a light flavor, so you can't really taste it. For this, I would expect a little bit more from a restaurant like this okay. kind. Is it because it's too sweet? Yeah, the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> so the the, the sugar's overpowering. Yeah. Is the sugar's too overpowering. I would expect one of these restaurants they would yeah they would combine the flavors okay. to like maybe be. Yeah. 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 You'd like to try some tiramisu? Sure. Alright. And I would expect from this restaurant maybe like a sweet and savory. Or, I don't know, maybe a little bit more variety of flavors. <laughs> These are all like berries, fruits, maybe something a little bit more. So, we got a tiramisu. Let's take a look at it. Thanks to him. He ordered it for us. Thank you. Well, you know, heavily criticizing the So, he noticed I wasn't satisfied with the too much. Oh, so, so what do you think is on the top there? So right here, it's cocoa powder. A cocoa powder, okay. So if you move the cocoa powder a bit, it's under it. There's the uh, term soup cream and stuff. Yeah. Under it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cocoa powder got into you? Cinnamon challenge. It's like a cinnamon challenge. <laughs> so it tastes as a coffee taste. Okay. A little bit bitter. Okay. And sweetness. Well, just a little bit sweetness. Not too much. Not too little. It's good. Is it a good amount of sweetness? It's a good amount of sweetness. And then you you taste the chocolate faintly and make sure you don't choke on the 
yeah. cocoa, cocoa powder. powder. I think they should they should name this um they should say a disclaimer not to choke on the cocoa powder. I well, totally can taste taste the coffee. Yeah, the coffee. Mm. I can taste a little bit of the egg. Hey, huh? Maybe from the lady fingers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't have done that as well. Can we, can we it's out, decent. Can we have points out of ten? Ten is hmm. amazing, and one is really, really awful. Uh, <laughs> probably um, six point five. Because it's sweet okay. to like a coffee taste, okay. like bitter. So it's a good. Variety of flavors. So there's some complexity. Yeah, but it tastes like every single other tiramisu, okay. but the but the the texture is a lot different okay. because some of them are in a bread style. So like they're or a thicker, cake style. Dryer, right? Yeah, so this one's some... more moist, and sticky. Got it. Okay. Um, I would make some remarks on the cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. Um, careful how you eat it. Don't do the cinnamon challenge, kids. Um, <laughs> it's very unsafe. It's very unsafe. You can, so overall an improvement. Yeah, the neat, it has some room for improvements, but overall they did it okay. All right, so I made some mistakes while eating it because I accidentally mashed it all together so it doesn't create um, layers in the flavors. But separation of texture. Yeah, but it's not like I know how to eat tiramisu because because like I don't eat tiramisu that much because it has alcohol. And all of you will flag my video if I don't care because you're because you'll always feel bad on the inside. I sleep with my eyes open to block out those haters. <laughs>